Welcome to Africa Info Hub. In this video we are going to talk about 10 interesting facts you did not know about Morocco. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Morocco is a country that you've certainly heard a lot about. After all, it's becoming a popular tourist site, which is great news. A friend or family member may have recently returned from a vacation in Chefchen, where they enjoyed a gorgeous blue city, a camel ride in the desert, and shopping in the Medina. Perhaps you've been thinking about taking a trip to Morocco and have been researching the country's traditions and culture. Morocco, on the other hand, is much more than meets the eye. Between urban legends and common assumptions, the real Morocco may be found, a country full of surprises and legends of its own. Here are the 10 interesting facts you did not know about Morocco. Number 10. Morocco is the most visited country in Africa. It comes as no surprise that Morocco is the most visited country in Africa, given the wealth of attractions the country has to offer. Every year more than 12 million tourists visited Morocco. Morocco's popularity as a tourist destination stems from the country's cultural and geographical variety. Stunning scenery, a diverse culture, busy cities and peaceful small towns, vast landscapes and towering mountains make this a fascinating place to visit. It is both historical and contemporary, as well as African and European. A family holiday, a romantic retreat, or a solitary journey to Morocco are all possibilities. Morocco has something to offer everyone. Number 9. Most Moroccans are multilingual. Contrary to popular belief, Moroccans do not talk in the language of their homeland. Both Moroccan Arabic and Berber, the country's official languages, are not mutually intelligible with one another. There are also numerous regional dialects that can be found. Morocco's citizens are often fluent in at least one European language in addition to their native tongue. Because of French colonization, a large number of Moroccans still speak French, and in the north, because of the country's proximity to Spain, they also frequently speak Spanish. Particularly in the tourism industry and large cities, you'll discover that the people are fluent in English, as well as other languages like as Italian, Dutch, and German. Number 8. Moroccans love coffee, but worship tea. Morocco's coffee culture is distinct from that of most Western countries. Not even the quality of the coffee or the quantity of iced lattes to go are important factors in this decision. In Morocco, drinking coffee is considered a communal right. It is intended to be consumed while sitting down. It is also a distinctly male-dominated activity. Cafes are only for males, and you'll see many of them enjoying a cup of coffee and a good discussion in one. Women like a cup of coffee with their female companions at home. However, tea, which is the country's national drink, is even more important than coffee in Moroccan culture. To brew traditional Moroccan tea, a blend of Chinese green tea and mint is combined with a generous amount of sugar and is done in numerous phases, or washings. Real Moroccan tea is worth the wait and is especially refreshing in the summer heat. The sweet and fragrant beverage is referred to as Berber whiskey and is served to visitors to Moroccan homes and shops when they arrive there. Number 7. Morocco has the oldest university in the world. Morocco has a lengthy and illustrious civilizational history. In 859, the Kairouin Mosque in Fees was designated as the world's first university. Fatima Al-Firi, the daughter of a wealthy Kairouin refugee, was responsible for its construction. Until the construction of Casablanca's Hassan II Mosque in the early 1990s, the Kairouin Mosque was the largest mosque in all North Africa. Despite operating autonomously for a long period, the university eventually became a member of the state educational system in 1963. It is presently known as the University of al Khairawi, which means University of al Khairawi. Number 6. Morocco has the second oldest ruling dynasty in the world. It is likely that you are aware that Japan has the world's oldest reigning dynasty, but did you know that Morocco has the world's second oldest ruling dynasty as well? The current royal family has been in power since 1631, when the monarchy was established. The House of Sharaf Louis claims to be descended from Muhammad ibn Abdullah, the Islamic prophet of Islam. Morocco established a constitutional monarchy in 1957, and the current king, Mohammed VI, is the 23rd monarch in the country's long history of dynastic monarchs. Number 5. Morocco has been a beloved refuge for artists. 
For generations, the beauty of Morocco has served as an inspiration for artists around the world. Tangier developed became a sanctuary for writers during the 20th century. Many writers, including William S. Burroughs, Allen Ginsberg, Jack Kerouac, Tennessee Williams, and Brian Gissin, made their homes in the area during the 1950s and 1960s. Paul Bowles ended up residing in Morocco for more than 50 years, according to his biographer. Even the Rolling Stones chose Tangier as their base of operations, while Cut Stevens and Jimi Hendrix chose Essaoura as their destination. Number 4. It is a famous film setting. Morocco is a favorite destination for not only writers and musicians, but also filmmakers. In addition to Hollywood, Morocco is the location of some of the largest film sets in the world. The Atlas Film Studios in Warzazat are known as Morocco's Hollywood because of their production of feature films. Lawrence of Arabia, Gladiator, Bertolucci's The Sheltering Sky, and Martin Scorsese's Cundin were all filmed in Morocco, as was the film Lawrence of Arabia. Mission Impossible, Babel, Kingdom of Heaven, The Mummy Returns, and, of course, Casablanca were among the films nominated. Morocco was most recently used as a filming location for the HBO series Game of Thrones. In 2014, independent film director Jim Jarmusch used the beautiful scenery of Tangier as a location for the arthouse vampire film Only Lovers Left Alive. Number 3. Morocco produces excellent wine. Morocco, being a Muslim country, has a very low level of alcohol usage. As a result, it may come as a surprise to learn that Morocco boasts a booming wine industry. Around 2,000 years ago, the Romans introduced winemaking to Morocco for the first time. Almost all of Morocco's vineyards were abandoned when Islam was founded in the country in the 7th century. This was the case until Morocco became a French protectorate, and the French were able to restore the vineyards to their former glory. During the 1990s, the French wine brand Castel stepped in to take over the winemaking operations in Morocco. The most widely consumed Moroccan wine is Gris de Boulaouane, a delicious rosé with overtones of citrus that is served chilled. Number 2. Which goes well with their delicious food. Morocco was named the second best foodie destination in 2020, a well-deserved honor. Moroccan cuisine is characterized by tasty, fresh ingredients and a careful mix of dried spices and herbs. Tagine and couscous are two popular Moroccan cuisines. Moroccan cuisine is also dependent on bread, which is served with practically every meal and is occasionally substituted for utensils. Make sure you eat it with your right hand, as eating with the left is considered disrespectful. It's likewise impolite to refuse meat when it's offered. Meat was traditionally expensive, and the type of meat offered represented the host's attitude toward the visitor. In Morocco, dinner is the most significant and largest meal of the day, and it is usually served late. Food is traditionally meant to be shared, and they will always offer you a taste of their meal. Traditional Moroccan cuisine is popular, but there are also many sophisticated, high-end restaurants that take the simple rural cuisine to new heights. Number 1. Moroccans don't like to rush. Unlike most other Mediterranean people, Moroccans have a highly laissez-faire mentality. Instead of planning excursions or visits, they will spontaneously come by without calling. They also don't want to be rushed. They prefer to let things unfold naturally in their own time leaving it up to God's will. Although a lot of things are becoming more structured and scheduled, especially in the tourism business, do not be shocked with delays. Simply relax and enjoy the fact that you are in Morocco. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.